Hi to everybody, in this video I want to show you how to complete some basic tasks required to set up a website using cPanel. What is cPanel? Well, it's a tool that allows us to manage remote hosting and performing tasks such as creating email accounts, create subdomains, database and add and remove files and, and so on in a very simple way. Unfortunately, cPanel is a paid tool. So the prerequisite is to have a subscription to a service provider that offers panel pre-installed. Don't worry because there are tons of sites with the cPanel and there are also some of them that offers the service for free. Obviously with limitation and restriction for the free plans. You can't expect to have a full, uh, full plan with full resources and limited web space without paying nothing. For this purpose, I found Hostinger that provides the service for free, but you can choose uh, any other. The important thing is that cPanel is included. I have previously subscribed to the Hostinger service, and then I'm going to show you how to set up a domain and see something else we can do with the cPanel. Given that we are using Hostinger, uh, for example, for this tutorial, first of all, we have to create a domain and to do that, go to the hosting menus here on the top and select new account then click select the new hosting plan the for free one zero euro and click the button order at this moment we have a new page we just have to confirm the order we have uh, zero euro in the total just click just flag the terms and privacy and uh, click the complete uh, order button okay we have to set up uh, the orders and uh, just click the button, the green button setup. And we have to do some choices here. We want a free domain because domain is a paid service. So we have to choose between uh, some suffix. I select the first one, easy.es, and I'm choosing my domain, wimtoots. The server region is Europe. And now I'm using, let me select a password. I'm using a very stupid password, but this is just a tutorial. So I ensure you that you use a, a strong password and then click the green button setup. Before starting with cPanel, I have to highlight that cPanel is uh, highly customizable and every service provider changes themes, includes feature, remove others, adding custom tools and so on but when you have seen it once you will be surely able to deal with uh, the others because the, the block structure is always the same it has a dns section an email section a file management section a database section and so on just for example i'm going to show you a couple of uh, cpanel uh, templates we won't use them but just to see the difference between each implementation here you can see one And here you can see another one. It's always cPanel, but are all different. Let's start exploring cPanel. To do that, go to the hosting all accounts or click wim, wimtoots.easy.es. We will be redirected to the cPanel dashboard. The dashboard, as you can see here, it's uh, split into main columns. The left one, we have a column reporting some information such as the IP address, the username, and uh, some other statistics such as disk usage, the number of email accounts available and used, the number of the MySQL database, and so on. The right panel has several sections that are almost self-explanatory. We have uh, accounts, with uh, details, upgrade and change password buttons. Details is uh, a recap of all, of all our parameters such as uh, DNS configuration, website URL, email server configuration, FTP configuration. Upgrade is uh, a proposal of the Hostinger website, Hostinger service to change the plan, so to buy a paid one, and then change password is obviously to change the access password. Then we have the email section to create and delete and manage email. We have a section with the webmail client and some other configuration for emails for setting up MX records for the INS and autoresponders and so on. 
I'm going very fast through this option because that are not required to set up a basic configuration of, of a website. So we will skip and we will uh, focus only to the very important and required features. Then we have domains. Here you can configure the third levels uh, domains, for example, park domains or create a redirect to other URLs. We have a website section. This section is uh, usually a custom section where every service provider puts a set of tool to automate some operation. For example, to install automatically install WordPress or other CMS, or to set up a website using an HTML template, or uh, very interesting, the import website to upload and uh, automatically uncompress a file on the remote file system. The next section is files, and uh, here things are more interesting. With, with the file manager, this one, the first button, we can move and or upload, download and move files on the remote file system uh, of the server or we can uh, schedule a backup or then we can uh, manage the FTP access creating account and deleting account. Next section, very important, is the database section. Uh, here you can manage all your database and users. You can create and delete obviously and access to the created database using uh, the PHP MyAdmin tool. That is a common, a very common web client for accessing MySQL database. Then we have a tree section with tools for advanced configuration that we will not cover in this video. You can see DNS, PHP configuration, setup of scheduled job and another security option. But as told before, we will not cover that in this video. Now let's go back to database section and click MySQL database. I want to show you how it can be easy to create a database and a user. Just simply fill the form, select the name of the database, the username and define a password. So let's start. For example, WIM to toots. We have only five letters available here because uh, part of the name is uh, already used by this suffix. So WinToots will be the name of the database and the name of the user. I now I'm setting a very simple password. My suggestion to you is to generate a password to enforce security. You can generate with this tool, just clicking the generate button. And when you have filled the form, just click the create button and the job is done. Okay, we have here this section, say that the database has been created, password database user u235 blah 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 underscore with toots is set to password, the stupid password I was telling you just a minute ago. And then in this section, just scroll down the page, we have a, a quick recap of the database currently available on in this account. Then we have only this one just created. If you click on the name, a set of button appears with a, a set of several operations available. Delete, repair, get usage, backup the database, change password, change permission, and the button to access the PHP MyAdmin client. Just click here to see tables and so on. I'm not going to do that now. As you have seen, with just a few clicks, we set up a database and the, the database is up and running. And that's all folks. But before go, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on our Facebook page. If you like the video, leave a comment or a like. See you on the next video. Bye.